Hi, Gabriel. Most of my channel is about Gabriel the cheetah and African cats. Hey, buddy. But I've had a fascination for insects long before I had them for animals. I value most all life and go out of my way to protect and save them when I can. Organisms that get into trouble from no fault of their own, except for the fact they were ensnared by the world made by man. But I'll respond to any organism in the animal kingdom in distress if I sense it's the right thing to do. So I'll give him a drink here of honey, some energy, and uh, send him on his way. Wow, and I thought South African beetles were big. Look at this thing. I'm almost scared to touch it. <laughs> That's as big as my thumb. That's incredible. Beautiful. I'll go out of my way to admire, rescue, and save I mean, it's them. All, it's curled up too. I mean, but it's, sometimes it's I'm too two late. Inches, two inches long. Even in death, I, I still get to admire an organism's like form, shiny. function, and beauty. It absolutely looks like a leaf. I mistook it for a leaf. I hope it's still alive. I'm gonna give it some water. Beautiful. Look at that. Wash. Incredible. Yeah. All over the garage, there are night crawlers. Uh, Here's me rescuing and hydrating a camel or cave cricket discovered in my basement. Look what we have here. A camel cricket, they call them. They're also called cave crickets because they live in dark, moist environments. They're an invasive species in the USA from Asia. They're a nocturnal insect only coming out at night. They're quite harmless. They don't bite, they're non-poisonous, and they don't carry any known diseases. They just get into your garage and basements and sometimes chew on things. Uh, this guy, he got trapped in my bin here. So he's been here, I'm not sure how long he's been in here, but giving water to a camel cricket before I send him outside. All life needs water to live. So I was betting this cricket would forego its fear and lap water off my wet finger. I just got it really slow. I got water on my finger. I know he's dehydrated, so. It's checking me out. Come on. Am I thirsty? There he goes. I ain't licking the water off my finger. These are completely harmless creatures. I've, uh, oh, I feel that. I have uh, captured dozens of them, and they don't bite. They won't bite. Um, I try to get him to bite, and they don't. They're, they're completely non aggressive. He's just looking the water off my finger here. Oh, I feel it. It feels like it's a little scraping. His tongue. That ah, feels weird. So I know he's thirsty. He's been here. He, he, he's probably been here for days. He didn't look, didn't look too bad. But I know he needed some water. At first, he was freaked out and scared of me. I said, oh, well, give me some water. Might as well drink. Oh, he's getting into my fingernails. Oh, look at the water up between my fingernail. Oh, I feel that. I can feel his mandibles cleaning my fingernails in that water, licking it up. So I'll catch this guy and I'll do it careful so I didn't drop his legs off. They, they have a tendency when they're, oh, Oh, he's biting my fingernail. They have a tendency to um, discard their back legs, their jumping legs, their rear, their rear uh, legs when they're threatened. Uh, it's an escape mechanism. So like, kind of like a snake who drops off its, or a skink that drops off the back end of its tail to uh, deter the predator, let the predator eat its, eat its discarded leg. <laughs> so I'll grab it real gently, let it uh, jump itself out. All right, he's had his drink, so I'm gonna throw him outside. Let him keep jumping out until I grab him safely. So they all, like I said, they all run out of energy. Their lactic acid builds up in their legs and, and they can't jump anymore. All right, there. And I should be able to pick him up. Up by his legs. I think you can see him. He's just, uh, they're really freaky looking. They really are. I got him by both legs. He's spitting up now that water I just gave him. So let me take him outside. But completely not aggressive. And they're disgusting if you think about it, but they're pretty non-aggressive. 
Only in the uh, garages, I've only seen them at night. They're a nighttime, nocturnal insect. They, uh, I never see them during the day. It's supposed to rain in the next couple of days. So. There's certainly such a thing as a circle of life, and everything has its timely end. But I see myself as part of this natural world, and not just a casual observer watching it. And I feel it's part of my nature to intervene, especially when it comes to the life of an organism where I have some influence. It's not a guilt trip, it's just something inside of me. I'm compassionately aware to live and let live, but also to let die when the circumstances are right. I've conducted my share of euthanasia, and it's probably why I am what I am. If you like this video, please share it and give the thumbs up, and consider joining my channel. Join my coalition and subscribe.